Hi everyone, this is Rachel Seller, the forensic nurse. I wanted to talk to you today about electromagnetic radiation. Um, one of the biggest concerns and the environmental safety issues that we're dealing with right now is electromagnetic radiation from Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Many of you may not know that Fitbits and Apple Watches are, it's just like having a cell phone on your body. So that little light signal that's put off, um, number one, causes problems in the body. The body will pick up those light signals and it causes cas a cascade of different reactions. So one of the things that Wi-Fi does is causes the calcium channel gates in your body to fire. So when that happens, the nervous system is, is, is going like this and there's a cascade of events happening and you'll end up with things like de depleted levels of potassium and hydrogen in the body and excess calcium floating around. So when we set off these reactions, there's a lot of consequences. It also causes the blood cells to stick together. So when the blood cells stick together, they're not able to bind oxygen. So people that have um, conditions like sickle cell, for example, uh, the blood cells are not shaped like they should be in a round disc, they're you know, kind of bent, sickled they're not able to bind oxygen as it is. So in this case, when the blood cells are sticking together, like stacking up like coins, it's called rouleau formation. So um, some people are more prone to that, like I am a type A blood, and some people tend to have, I guess you can call it sticky blood. So I have a meter, and I took a reading like a week ago. I went behind Clearwater High School in Clearwater, Florida, and I took a reading in just an average neighborhood, and there was a cell tower there right behind the high school, and the reading was very, very high, like it always is anywhere you go. But it's just kind of like, I don't think people are really aware of the effects. So the other thing that Wi-Fi does is it causes the blood-brain barrier to become more permeable. And when that happens, uh, things like heavy metals in the body can you know, permeate and go places that they shouldn't. So I turn my Wi-Fi off at night, and I started watching a channel called EMF Zone. So his name is Neil, and he taught me a lot about Wi-Fi. And it's one thing to turn off the Wi-Fi in the back of the unit, but you have to make sure that it's actually off. So I wanted to show you my meter. And this is an acoustometer. This is an acoustometer. This is an AM10. This is a, let's see, EMF Field is the brand. And this is measured in microwatts per square meter. And what it, it's kind of a tricky thing to read, but I'm gonna show you what a reading looks like, and there's different signals and things that you can hear. So I'm just gonna let you hear what it sounds like. Okay, we're gonna walk over to the Wi-Fi box. So here's the Wi-Fi box. Okay, you see the meter? So now I'm gonna turn the Wi-Fi off. Wi-Fi is going to go off and watch the meter. Let's see if I can see the meter change. So you can hear the different signals. Okay. And then we can turn it back on. It is back on. Here's off. Okay, it just takes a minute. Okay, so you get the idea, right? So this is a meter, and um, many people talk about the tri the tri field meter. There's a meter called the tri field. If you go to look up these type of instruments, the tri field meter actually does not take readings on Wi-Fi. It does not take readings on cell cell phone towers. So the reason I like this meter is because I like to take readings on cell phone towers, and I like to see I like to make sure my Wi-Fi is off. So I do have a button on the back of my Wi-Fi, but one of the best um, health tips I can give anybody right now, and that includes doctors and nurses and pharmacists, the educators in the community, um, all medical professionals and friends and family, make sure you turn your Wi-Fi off at night. So if you have any health conditions, oh, by the way, uh, Wi-Fi causes diabetes. And you can go on YouTube, there's a video, I'll post it, um, oh, this is a YouTube video, I'll post it down below. Uh, if you put in Wi-Fi and diabetes, there's a medical doctor speaking before Congress on this issue. So it does cause diabetes and it does exacerbate certain health conditions because you're going to have chronic inflammation, uh, fatigue, it can keep you in a slightly depressed state. Uh, you can reference Dr. Dietrich Klinghart on that. So I just wanted to share this video with you and um, 
I say to turn the Wi-Fi off at night, at least give your body eight hours of rest so your nervous system can relax because the key to preventing cancer and different diseases and, and healing is the controlling the nervous system and making sure the nervous system isn't out of whack and constantly firing and in an inflamed state. All right, so um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, share it with your friends and family. I'm Rachel Seller, the forensic nurse, and if you wanna contact me, you can go to theforensicnurse.org.